My mission is to make a word of the world about Latin America because we are far away in early detection. And with this COVID crisis, I don't want to mention, but that's terrible. We have no medicines, that, uh, interrupted treatments. So it's quite, a, it's quite a problem. So we are the biggest institution in, or the only institution, nonprofit in early detection. So we do a hard job to promote the early detection, to force the government to give laws to put in shape old hospitals and, and to buy new equipment. But this is quite, it's quite a difficult job. No, but that's our mission, to make everybody aware about that early detection means life. I'm a guy with experience on the issue. Uh, I got cancer when I, when I was 32 years old. So, but I decided, no, I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna keep on with my life. I had my, my two children were little, five and three years old. So I decided I have to continue, I want to continue. So. After my remission, uh, when I was uh, free of cancer, I decided to devote myself to, to the cancer issue, to the cancer theme. So uh, I work with this Peruvian Cancer League, uh, which is, uh, we are passionate for life. That's, that's, uh, that's the, the, the sentence, we're passionate for life. So in, we must promote the early detection because it's the only way to save lives plus in America Latina because we are so far away in everything. No? So check up some time, promoting checkups, saving lives, that's our that's our mission. There's a deep difference between uh, private assistance, health assistance and public health assistance. So if you have an insurance, if you are, if you have the income enough, you can you can get to a good hospital. But you know? if you're not, you're almost condemned, because uh, the chances of surviving is very low. So uh, what we um, try to make is that make the government aware what we need, what the Peruvians need. No, or all Latin America, because it's not a problem of Peru, it's all Latin America. No? So what we need is more attention of the government. I, I know highways and a lot of things are important, but early detection, treatment, good hospitals are a must. That's something we need and we don't have yet. No? Too little really too little. We need to do a lot more because this gap between people who can have some treatment and the other ones who cannot is bigger. No? So uh, what we need is more attention of the government, perhaps more private uh, investment in, in, in hospitals, uh, which is difficult because and it's, it's logical. If you if you invest, you need to, to get a profit. You're not the government, you're not the state. But um, the main thing is to promote detection, to, mo to promote treatments, to have good equipments. Doctors, we have very good doctors. That's not the problem. The problem no, is not the, the personal, it's not medical uh, problem. It's a, it's a hospital problem. It's a equipment problem, no? problems that, that are not easy to solve, perhaps. No? For me to come to, the, to this UECC uh, is very important because I can bring the voice of Latin America no? uh, to show what we are, to show what our problems are and to ask for attention, to ask for attention uh, and understand what is going on in the future of cancer. No? Uh, until now, uh, we know that there isn't any other thing but an early detection. So 
we have to ask for help on early detection. No, that's the main thing we have to do. For me, it's, it's very important to come here because uh, I meet with a lot of people, very interesting people. Uh, I find very interesting things, I, opinions, and a lot of things to do, and, and that uh, makes me aware of what can we do in Latin America to progress on this cancer issue, which is, which is really difficult. No?